let's take a call from Maui. Maui. What's up? Why why does Louie and uh Louie and, and uh oh what's your other buddy's name? Mark. Mark. Label. They call you Maui, huh? Maui. Why why do they do that? Is that like a like a nickname? Like they like you? Well, in, like in because their name's uh, Mauricio, and like in Mexico or like Hispanic well, culture, to shorten it, they just say Maori. I get that, but I'm just saying like they're like uh, they're your friends though. They they must like love you to give you like a little name like that. Oh yeah. Hey, do you know where I? I don't know where I am. I don't remember this part of the game. I'm in. There's a flooded stairwell, and the shin. Oh, I went through that door. Are you a big Final Fantasy VII guy? No. I, I don't, I don't play Final Fantasy. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, I opened. Darren. Don't be sorry, bro. This is, this is, you know, this is just what we do on the anniversary show. We we bond on other things besides like yeah. Final Fantasy and stuff like that. I got into a random battle. Okay, yeah. Everyone is fucking hacked because they all have level 99 and are ready to limit break. <laughs> this is so cheating. All right. Uh, what's up then? What are you calling for, brother? Dude, because you're, you're, you're going to miss out on the Iron Sheik roast today. Uh, yeah, I know. The Iron Sheik's being roasted at the comedy store, the world-famous comedy store. Look at this, Cosmo Bro Memory. Brody Stevens is going to be there. Dude. I've met him, like, a couple times already. Like, he knows me, and he knows where I live and all this shit. It's crazy. It's fucking funny. Whoa, he knows where you live? Yeah, he was, we, he was, uh, I want to go see him, and then he's like, You, with the Misfit shirt. I'll beat you outside of the parking lot. Is that where are you from? I'm, like, I'm from Pico Rivera. I know where that is. El Rancho High School. And I was like freaking, I was like, no way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's all about, he, he knows like every street and like every like part of LA. Yeah. Uh, that's really funny. Yeah, I Dude, I really like him. To meet him. I'm, I'm going to steal. talking about him like all the time and I keep seeing him because I've been like doing the whole stand-up thing. And he's always around. It's like so funny to like that I'm meeting people that you want to meet, and I'm just like, "Where's fucking Garrett? I want him to meet him." Yeah, I would. I would love to meet Stephen Brody Stevens. He's he's one interesting guy. Hey, should I? What? Uh, hey, uh, chat. What summon should I use? You tell me which one, baby. Uh, they're voting. I'm gonna build suspense. That's the wrong fucking one. I'm seeing, I'm seeing Bahamut first. Bahamut zero, or Neo Bahamut, or I'm seeing, I saw Bahamut, so that's what we'll do. Kitty is gonna slash all. I think the game is bugging out, cause, Mauricio, did you ever use a Game Shark on your PlayStation? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think, so. I don't remember that far back. I don't, I don't know. Well. You could do all these weird, like, kind of cheat codes, and then it would max out your stats or, like, give you always limit breaks and stuff like that. But yeah. it made the game save sometimes super unstable, and, like, while this is going, it starts, like, glitching out sometimes. So we might... I don't know. I got Ultimate Sword, though. I mean... What was it called? Ultimate Weapon? No, that's what you fought. Anyway. But, yeah, dude. Say hi to Brody for me. Tell him, tell him, uh, tell him I love him. I'll get to, I'll get to go see him live one of these days. Is he not like in San Diego that much? He's, he's never come to the American Comedy Company down here, or he's probably been to the La Jolla Comedy Store, but I've never been there. Cause you, I've seen, I just saw his, uh, you know that show he had on HBO. Oh yeah, that on HBO Go, it was awesome. Yeah, I just saw the the episode about his breakdown. Yeah. And it's, like, so scary. It's like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like how... Hey, I was watching and following along with him through that whole thing because I had found out about him from listening to, like, Joe Rogan podcasts and the Death Squad podcasts. Mm -hmm. And he was on there, and he he kind of had a podcast called Bro to Nestor, and Red Band would put it on, and he would, like, get in fights with his podcast guests, and he would... Uh, there would just always be kind of weird shit, so I started, he was interesting, I started following him on Twitter, and I started seeing, like, videos he would post where he would, like, fucking yell at people, but I didn't know this wasn't part of his comedy, I didn't know this was part of his breakdown, but a lot of the footage that you see in that HBO documentary, 
they show like some footage of him yelling at this homeless guy out front of a 7-Eleven. Yeah. Uh, I remember like finding that on his Twitter when he put it up there and I was like, this guy's fucking awesome. <laughs> he's he's telling this homeless guy to get away from those girls. You stay away from those women. You're scaring them. He's locked at like on stage. Like I want to go see him with Mark and uh, and Brody was like talking to Mark and then because because I think Mark is like fucking hilarious and Mark was like you know talking being he was being, Mark was being Mark and Brody didn't know how to how to act uh, with Mark because you know he's expecting like a normal audience member or whatever yeah and they just had like this whole dialogue for his comedy set it was like so fucking funny i was like dying laughing was mark like was brody into it or was like mark heckling him oh no no mark was mark was into it um he because this was his first time seeing brody and um he didn't know what to make of it either so they were just kind of have having like kind of like a dialogue and it was it was fucking funny but um he i want to go see him last week and like if people people who haven't seen St- uh, Brody Stevens like he doesn't do stand up where he tells jokes he just goes up on stage and makes everybody feel awkward and that's yeah. like so fucking funny like there was a group of uh, my character of, Steve just turned into the devil just so you know like there was um, a group of, of uh, black chicks like in a, at a table and all he was doing was just talking to them like where are you from let me take you home and he was just like <laughs> like doing this whole awkward thing with them and it was like so fucking funny and then also i get the- chicks did he say that did he say i get chicks yeah yeah he was saying that and then the dude from system of a down was there and he was talking to what him. the fuck which dude surge the, the bassist the oh dude. oh okay and that dude was fucked up like mark was telling me that because i was outside mark was telling me that as the guy was walking in he tripped and like knocked down a whole table and was like oh it's all part of the act it's, it's all good like he was fucked up and like brody like outside i was talking to brody and then the guy just like came in was just talking like bullshit 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 and then because like brody knows that this guy's like famous he was like yeah hey chavo he was just like going with oh, it. Oh, Chavo! Yeah, yeah, that is that guy's name. Yeah, and they were, and it was just fucking so weird. This guy was like fucked up, and then Brody was doing his whole shtick, and it was just like so fucking cool. And then that same night, because me and Mark just want to go see a comedy show, and like this lady goes up, is like, "Hey, uh, can you guys sign this for us? We're gonna, actually gonna do a reality show of Mike Tyson. He's gonna oh. be here, and he's gonna do stand up." So we also got to see Mike Tyson do his like first stand up set. With, like, That's Jeff cool because he he out. does he does a one man show. He was uh-huh. doing it in Vegas. Now he's traveling with it. Oh, thank you so much. Did you get any salsas? If yeah. you didn't, it's okay. Oh. Did you get green? Or just reds? No. Okay, I'll take I'll take some reds. No, 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 no worries. That Burritos Diablo, are here. That Diablo shrimp sounded so good. I went the extra distance. And, oh. And got that. Wow. For thank myself. You. Um, Mauricio, don't worry. The burritos are here. Sounds good, man. Dude, it is good. Yeah, I, I want to come up there and hang out with you guys again, and I definitely want to hit up the world-famous comedy store. Uh, yeah. Preferably when some of the Death Squad people are playing. It sucks a guy I really like, Ari Shafir, just moved to New York, and he used to play there all the time. Is he the uh, amazing racist? Yeah, he is. Yeah. Uh, today, uh, it's gonna, Mark Marin is gonna be there. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Get um, it? Um, I heard his stern Hold interview. On. Like Hold on! Ago. Oh, that's not it. There we go. Sorry. No, it's cool. You heard what a week ago? Uh, his interview on, on Stern, uh, Mark Marin, and, uh, I want to go up to him and talk to him because apparently he's like good friends with Opie and Anthony, and like Opie and Anthony got like really pissed that he went on Stern or something. Oh, I want to go fuck talk to him that. About that. Yeah, you know what? Those guys have still always had a rival, but now they're both on Sirius. Yeah. So I don't know. I Stern's whole thing has always been like never show your your uh. I wouldn't say enemies, but never show your opponents any remorse. Like, always trash them. But you gotta admit, <coughs> that show's still fucking going, and a lot of people listen to it. 
They have fucking one of the funniest... Jim Norton's on that show, and that guy's like one of the funniest comedians I've ever seen. Yeah, that's the guy we saw, right? With uh, Joe R- Joe Rogan? Yeah, he played with Rogan. He was he yeah. was especially dirty. I'm going to do Fire 3, and I'm going to do uh, Bolt 3 as well. Oh. And I'm going to slash all. all right, is there a way... I think, chat, do you hit select to go to, like, get all the fucking menus off the screen so you can just enjoy the graphics? How do you do that? Hold something down? Lots going on here. Oh, that was you. Uh, Do does anyone remember? Get, are you still excited for the it's Peter too Murphy show that's gonna happen? Am I excited for a, for the Peter Murphy show? Yeah, yeah dude, that's that's coming, coming up. up, right? Yeah, it's coming up. I think it's next month. Or, Fuck yeah. yeah, June. It's at the beginning of June or middle of June. I think it's middle, like middle, late June. I was curious because he he did all his U.S. dates and then he went to the U.K. But then he's coming back to do a second leg of U.S. dates, and that's when we're going. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be fucking sick. And then, uh, yeah, like um, Louie and, and Mark have been asking like where where, you, where you've been, and I was like, well, I'll, I'll try to get him for the club synth or whatever. But uh, but yeah, man, as soon as you're free, just hit me up. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I'm glad Louie and Mark. Uh, Liked hanging out with me. I, I had a lot of fun that one time when I hung out with them. Yeah, but I, we, I don't want to. I don't want to impose because I know usually we crash at Louis's house. Oh no no, Louis like wants to set up this thing where like, you know, like drifters who come who come to LA for the first time. Drifters. Be that guy who like says welcome to LA. You could stay at my place, you know, and just like show them around town. Louis cool like that. He's cool. He's cool. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Choco Moog first summon of the game. I'm gonna bust it. Moog. Choco Moog? Moog? How do you say it? Is that how you say it, Mauricio? Maui? Uh, Moog. Moog. Does anyone remember how to get all the shit off the screen? I don't. But whatever. Anyway. Well, thanks for calling in, brother, on this one year anniversary. Yeah, man. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Alright, uh, yes. Check out the show. Hopefully I'll be up, uh, and we'll hang out before, but definitely at that Peter Murphy show. Alright then, man. Alright. Talk to you later. Alright. Bella yeah. Lugosi's dead. <laughs>